All right, so what do we have here? What's the bone? Is it the right or the left? Is it appendicular? Or is it axial? Appendicular or axial, what's the bone? Is it right or left? Okay, so this is the femur, and this is a left femur, left femur. So, of course, we can tell that this is the lateral, this is the medial side, this is the head that will fit in the acetabulum, and here we know that this is the anterior side of the knee, this is the distal anterior side of the femur, and then if we flip it over, we see that the posterior side is quite, quite different, right? We can see that there's a significant difference there. So let's go, let's go over those parts. All right, let's come on down and have a look. All right. So this is the head, head of the femur. This is the head of the femur. It's going to fit into the acetabulum on the pelvis. All right. This is our greater trochanter. Greater trochanter. And there is our lesser trochanter. Head, neck, greater trochanter, lesser trochanter. All right. We have the... Um, Intertrochantic crest, intertrochantic crest. On this side, we have the intertrochantal line. This is a line. This one's a crest because it's raised. So these are for attachment points of muscles. This is the head that fits in the acetabulum. While we're here, Let's see if we can see that, that spongy bone. So there, some of the surface of the bone has been damaged in this sample, and we can see the spongy bone inside there. Let's see if that'll focus. All right. Now, we are still on the front. So let's look at the distal end. This is the patellar, patellar surface, patellar surface. This is the medial condyle, medial condyle, lateral condyle, medial, lateral condyle. This is the lateral epicondyle, epicondyle. And then there's our media, medial epicondyle patellar surface. All right, let's flip it over so now we're on the um, posterior side. So we can always know our medial side because that's the same end as the head. Medial condyle, lateral condyle, intercondylar fossa, huge fossa there, intercondyle fossa, lateral epicondyle, Lateral epicondyle. Let's see if you get a better view of that. It's not nearly as big as the condyle, right? There's the lateral epicondyle. Let's see if we can get you a better view of it. All right, that's the lateral epicondyle. All right. There you can see a little bit right there. Okay and then the medial epicondyle. All right, there's some more damaged area. Let's see if we can get this in focus. So this is spongy bone that we can see. There's some damage to that surface and we can see the spongy bone underneath. All right, what else do we see on the back here? We have the lateral supracondyle ridge, lateral supracondyle ridge. 
medial supracondylar ridge. Popliteal surface. This is the back side of the knee. Lina aspera. We have the pectineal line and we have the gluteal tuberosity. Gluteal, oops, you can't see that. All right. So I think you can see the roughness here. This is the gluteal tuberosity. So it's just basically a raised rough area. All right. And then the pectineal line, but the this gluteal tuberosity is more there we go. More visible. All right. Need better lighting here. Uh, let's go back here. And we are on this side. Adductor tubercle. Adductor tubercle. So the adductor muscle is going to pull the leg back in. Okay, good.